Ooh, welcome man, welcome back to the channel guys. Look guys, y'all see this steering wheel? Y'all see me going straight? This steering wheel is all over the place. All right guys, this test drive has been totally cut short. Okay, cause it's still, oh, I got traction control lights and stuff on. My steering wheel is straight. And while I'm driving, this thing is bouncing around. So something has damaged, something is damaging the front suspension. I'm not gonna test drive this, guys. I might not make it back. So, ah, oh, this is real loose. Oh, by the way, this, what, I don't know, 2010 Chrysler 300. I don't know what year, but uh, 72,000 miles. Not many, but it's a true sign a feeling of something has been damaged oh i am straight whoa all right no test driving for me guys all right guys hold tight next time y'all see me whoa did y'all feel that y'all didn't feel it all right guys i gotta get this thing in the air we have to inspect this front suspension i don't know could be cradle damage could be anything could be something was hit or damaged tie rods or anything we will not know until I inspect the suspension but however I am a firm believer in test drive but in this case it's like the wheels fighting against each other guys dog tracking you ever heard of the term dog tracking the front wheels are fighting against each other you can tell by the way it's it's fighting it's pulling all right uh, I'll tell you what guys let me get let me find a way to get this thing in the air and uh, we'll do some front suspension check. All right, stay tuned. Oh, righty, guys. I have this thing in the air now. Why on earth? Whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Oh man, y'all know what? I've seen this on PT Cruises, guys. Number one, this is the wrong rack and tie rod setup on this car. This is supposed to be a straight shot. What the hell am I looking at? Wait a minute. Okay, my eyes are crossed out there. Y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Alright. Yes, the tires was fighting against each other. That's because the tie rod is. Oh, not Tyrod. The rack and pinion is bent. This must be an all-wheel drive. Yes, it is. Yes, guys. I can tell an all-wheel drive setup. Y'all know on a normal 300, a rack set like in here. But because they needed axles to put in this area, that's, it's an all-wheel drive. So they needed axles to put in this area. So they had to relocate the rack to this area. Even the, uh, the steering linkage is different. So, yes, that makes sense. Although I am totally no big fan of all-wheel drive. Yes, in order to be all-wheel drive, you have to have a piece of device that would transfer the torque. PTU, some call it a PTU, some call it a transfer case. All right, that is what this is. So you have a, you'll have an axle coming out of one side for, in this case, the front wheels going up here, and it's going to transfer torque to each wheels and you have the other side drive axle going to the rear to transfer torque to the rear wheel to the rear wheels so it's an all-wheel drive setup but <laughs> that is why my steering is fighting guys this yes i'm not crazy emma no i'm not crazy guys this is bent what the hell happened now some places or some cars it's hard to find a place to pull these guys and a lot of tow truck drivers will simply throw their hook back here and grab on the first oh wait a minute oh my goodness man see i like to imagine or imagine if i went on that test drive i wanted to guys that would that could have been ugly this wheel could have literally stretched and fell off I'm glad I let y'all talk me out of that test drive. I appreciate y'all fellas. Cause this, um, now, so my job guys, I have to inspect the complete front suspension. All right, there's a chance that they have ruined these tires because the tires have been driven 
fighting against each other. So, yes, I will. I need gloves on. I need to go get some gloves. But the steering wheel is straight, and this wheel is veered toward the left. Guys, I'm going to tell you all something about doing anything suspension related. You are now married to this car. This is an all-wheel drive setup. I hate these. Okay, I'm no big fan of freaking all-wheel drive because they're going to always have nagging. Oh, my God, and it's an older model car. I did not know. Look at that. That broke. No, you ain't. This rack is a. Uh, what about the side? Yeah, it can't move that side. So. They either hit something. What y'all think? They hit something in the road. Or. <laughs> tow truck driver. So, but why would a tow truck driver? It was towed in because it wouldn't drive. Not because. Or because they felt this was dangerous. But that means this was happening, this was here before the tow truck driver got here. Because if you had to find a way to pull something, you would likely, I don't know, I guess I would grab on this. I would grab, I definitely wouldn't grab on the tie rod. Now I'm speculating, guys. I don't know if this is what they did or not. So, and I'll never know. Because somebody, nobody would never tell the truth. What y'all think? Alright, I have to start. And I got to use that term, start, because we can get burnt by not using that term. So I have to start with a rack and pinion and uh, front end alignment. Now, guys, I gotta, I'm going to do some more inspection off camera because I can't hold the camera and inspect. But I will be, you know, the drill, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. We'll be checking hood bearings, things like that. Again, I was unable to drive it because of the looseness in the suspension all right so i have to check the whole complete suspension but for now just to let y'all know um yeah we just do this part one until they approve something and, and then i will explain the rest why i chose to do what i did all right guys is that fair enough oh wow yeah that's fair enough mm -mm -mm. Either I'm real strong or this is just super weak. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, uh, that's all I have for right now. I want y'all to stay tuned for part two. Man, and you know what, guys? Look, this is a new weight, which tells me somebody just had this wheel off to do an alignment. See, this is where this is where managers start getting scared, or they the unknown is what really bothers managers. That's a new weight, so they just had new tires or something put on there. Now we about to go dig into the customer ear and find out what has been done on this car i see brand new weights on here somebody just rotating balance the tires i don't know all right guys i tell you what y'all stay tuned okay and i will be uh i will be uh y'all yeah, remember i got burnt on this look the bleeder screw is above <laughs> this is gonna stick with you for the rest of your life if it ever happened to you <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned.